where Karen and Bo Christensen, a Danish-American couple who met in Germany in 2016. Bo is an airline pilot, and Karen is a freelance advertising creative director. In late 2022, we bought Chateau de la Tuilerie in Martel, France, and are working to make it a bed and breakfast and wedding destination fit for a queen. Welcome to Queen's Escape. I just wanted to take a minute and personally thank you for watching our channel. Uh, we make a couple hundred bucks a month and that helps me personally. And I really appreciate it, it means something to me. So thank you so much for your support and all your kind comments and all of the, the nice messages that I get encouraging Bo and I um, in our endeavors here. It, it means a lot to us. And for those of you who support us on Patreon, thank you for that. That allows us to move forward with projects here at the Chateau. Right now, we're using those funds to redecorate, repaint, and do a little renovation on the Cleopatra room. And so, uh, it's very, very exciting for us. Uh, we don't have a ton of patron patrons right now, uh, but we sure love the ones that we have and love to get their messages and their comments and um, and support. And you know, thank you, just just thank you very much for your generosity and support. Hello, today. We have a guy coming from JJ Enterprises, it looks like to me. <laughs> Just throw it on the floor. Yep. <coughs> JJ Enterprises. De père en fille. The father and daughters. <laughs> I guess that's the name of their, their business, but something that they do that we really need is for the facade of the chateau and we are looking for somebody to come and spray the chateau and get all of the old it's not tarnish it's like i don't think it's not mold isn't the right word but there's like black marks, you know, on the front of the, the facade and it does, maybe it is mold or, or a type of that, but it's a growth that comes over time that can be sprayed and um, then washed off. So that's what we need. I'm just checking to see if it says on here what it is they, that it is. No, it's all of the things that they do. They do a lot of things, but that's what we need and I'm really hoping that the guy didn't see the word chateau and then, then it's gonna give us a chateau price. So if he's reasonable, maybe he gets some of our business, but uh, we, we get a lot of quotes that are just ridiculous. And it's, it's just cause they uh, bump it up because it's a chateau and they think we'll pay it, but we won't. <laughs> so he's coming in about a half an hour. So I'm looking forward to him coming so I can take him around and then come back inside where it's warm. So the guy, he came and left and just took him outside on the, the terrace. It's cold today. I mean, it's like 30s, you know, he had a short sleeve shirt on. <laughs> I haven't seen that too much in France. Anyway, he looked at the facade and then, uh, you know, he was pretty quick to rattle off a number, which was something like 5,200 euros uh, to clean the, the black marks on the facade, which probably expensive. And he's like, oh, but it lasts uh, 15 years and yada, yada, yada. And I said, well, is there a, a cheaper one that we could do? And, and he said, yeah, there is, but it takes longer to soak in and um he murmured some some other stuff about why that wasn't the one we wanted um <laughs> but he said he'd throw in the stone terrace for free at that price and uh, it's probably too high but i shared it with Bo. And, and let's see i really 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 want it done it's the first thing that we wanted to do uh when we 
when we arrived is to just pretty up that facade and make it fresh again, especially since we're gonna want to put the shutters back on. So, but I'll show you this uh, website. It's kind of cool. So here <coughs> is this website, uh, John Habitat, and I think that's what it is. I have it in in uh, English there, but it's uh, the cleaning of the facade is what we want. And so you can kind of see here some before and after pictures of some facade cleaning that they've done and the steps. You can probably see, yeah, what the steps are there. They come, they give a quote. Well, that's not really a four step process, is it? <laughs> <laughs> oh well, that's funny. Um, yeah, 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 gallery. So here's what I wanted to show you is this gallery. And you know, we have some black marks on the front of the chateau and uh, you know, I wanted to make sure that they would come off and that the whole thing would be brightened. But if this is any indication, I mean, I think, uh, I think it, it, can, it can work. Um, okay, well, so we can just go through like this. It's pretty good. These are very black. Hmm, that's more kind of the thing that uh, we have. That looks like it's also painted though. Yeah, there we go. That looks painted as well, but <laughs> you know, seeing is no longer believing these days, but um, I'm sure that they can do a, a nice job and yeah, that's that would be such a vast improvement. So that's what we're hoping for. We'll see. Good morning. It is super exciting this morning and uh, don't even have my makeup on yet, but uh, the guys are here to uh, spray the facade uh, with a defungal agent that is going to take off all of the black mold, which is so, 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 so exciting. Expensive, but exciting. But Bo, he was able to talk them down and to get a better deal, which is awesome. And um, they need water sources. Oh my gosh, I'm struggling here. One moment. All right, so they need water sources on both sides of the building and they need power. So I took them outside and showed them where we have the water and where we have the power. And now I'm just going um, to turn the power on because, I mean, sorry, the water on on one side of the chateau where we have the tap closed for the summer, uh, winter. I'm so excited, I'm really distracted, I can't talk. But we have the water on the side of the building turned off. And there we go, now I'm in. And uh, so I need to turn that tap on and it's in the wine room which is like, you have to go through a tunnel to a maze to get to it. But it's right over here. And I believe it's this one here. Yep, that's the one. I was just finishing up my cardio workout when they, when I heard men talking. <laughs> and I, I didn't really know what time they were coming today. They're here. <laughs> I want to show you how the chateau looks now. So the things we are trying to clean up are all the stains on the building. So sort of the green water stains that you see there on the tower that we got from a leak and these black marks and the discolorations from the water coming down. So you see there's a lot to clean up and we've been wanting to do it uh, since we moved in. And last year we took all of the 
shutters off. Well, most of them, as you can see, we still have them on the ground floor because we need to be able to um, close up the place if we happen to not be here. So we keep those there uh, for security. And, uh, but they let us know that they can uh, work around those. It's probably good for me to make sure that our sanglier fence is off. <laughs> I think I already checked it this morning, but just double checking, yes, it's off. Okay, so you see some of the marks that we really want to clean up, and especially our focus is on the facade here on this side. Golly, look at the beautiful fog over Gluge this morning over the cliffs. It's going to be a warm uh, day, almost up to 60. 60 in January, I'll take it. <laughs> so here, let me zoom out a little. You see some of the discolorations on this tower. under these windows this is the kind of thing we want to we want to get gone and then Bo also suggested that we do some work on these little um, <laughs> I'm gonna lose the word right now but basically the window area where we have this beautiful grating because the top is wood and he says it needs to be replaced and fixed up. So we want to do that and I'd really like to paint the grating white. So we have to do all this cleaning of the facade before we can put the painted shutters back on the building. So um, that's what's happening today. Yeah. really can't wait to see how it cleans up. All right, so here's the operation. Spraying the defungicide onto the building. You can see he's already sprayed over on this side. And then he's doing here. That they do two applications one today and one tomorrow and it soaks into the plaster so anything they might miss today they will get tomorrow because of course I was looking at all of the little spots and going <laughs> let's make sure you know everything is covered but uh, yeah we talked about it so application today application tomorrow and uh, It's uh, not the most exciting part to watch the spraying on, but it's very exciting uh, to me. Yeah. So the poor guy who is spraying the fungicide on our uh, chateau, his truck broke down outside and um, he had told me he was going somewhere and he'd back, be back in an hour, but I don't even think they got to leave. 
Um, so they've been just sitting there waiting for the, the car repair to, to come and take their van away. And he's going to call me tonight about when he's going to come back and do the job. But I feel sorry for him. I hope this job helps him. He seems like a really, really nice guy, you know, and who needs an opportunity. And I hope the work is good. And I hope that it, it, that he uh, that he benefits and everything's okay. <laughs> so here comes the truck to haul the work truck away for the poor guys who are <laughs> spraying the facade today. They've been sitting out there quite a long time. Felt so sorry. So down at our sign, this is the status of our mailbox. It is on the ground because somebody stuffed two packages in it. I mean, that is so stupid. <laughs> it's just, oh, so stupid. They're so lazy. They wanna try to stuff the biggest stuff in here instead of just bringing it down to the house. Bo is gonna come tomorrow and fix it, but <laughs> golly. A spare mailbox that was closer to the house because they used to deliver closer to the chateau. So lucky for us we could put this one up down here at the end. All right what are you doing? Uh, so you can probably see in the background it's pretty cold here so I'm going to insulate the pipes we have for the heating system because there's a lot of energy loss when the cold pipes are surrounding the hot water that has to flow to several uh, storages here so uh, we at least we can try to minimize the impact by insulating all the pipes we have <laughs> So it's the Galette de Roy, Roy. Galette de Roy which is the king Merci. cake Merci. in France. Is that, is that the first category? Is that the first time? Which one is this one? one? The southwest one? Or? The southwest one. So the southwest, in southwestern France, they serve this kind of galette de roi. And then there's a southeastern one. I say it's a Parisian. It is not here, it's Parisian. Oh, this one is Parisian. From the north. Okay. Yeah, but very It's from the north. Sometimes, uh, chocolate. Chocolate, yes. Uh, poire aussi. Pire. Pire. Sometimes. Pire, yeah. But this, this is a real one. Okay. And there's the other cake. Wow, wow, wow. Okay. Donc, uh, if you could. Maybe like a token. Uh -huh. Yeah, a small token. Uh huh. A small. Whoever get the token, yeah, is the king or queen and has to elect a king or queen. A king or queen, and then you have to do it, do it next you, year, you right? Have to invite, uh, and, uh, all the people. All the people. 
to, to eat. And to have to eat another cake. Okay. <laughs> another galette. Mm. And her daughter left. She got the baby. And your baby? And my baby. Where is she? She's back in Charleston. Okay. <laughs>